Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. My name is Kim and today I'm going to be showing you how to incorporate a QR code in your Adobe InDesign layout. This is a simple way to go about it if you don't have any other QR code generator. It's quick and it's for certain things in particular and I would suggest using it if you have temporary visuals that you need to put out. So yeah, let's get going. The first thing you're going to have to do is go and get the rectangle frame tool in your tools panel or press F. Then you're going to just drag and drop where you want your QR code to show up. Let's put it right in the middle for this design. You're going to right click on this square or frame and you're going to go down to generate QR code. Now you're going to have this new frame like pop up and you're going to have different options right now. As you can see, I already have a link there. This is for the example, but you can have plain text. If you just want it to be maybe an answer to a question, you can send a text message. You can even send like an email. Let's say you want feedback from customers. Well, you, your email address could be your feedback email subject is feedback and the person is going to be able to write their own email and then a business card well it's pretty easy you fill out the information and then when everyone is going to scan this they'll get the business information so for this video though i'm going to go with a web hyperlink which is just a url and i you can copy paste it right there then in this part you can also change the color so i'm going to go with this color here and I'm going to press OK. And there you have it. You already have a QR code generated. Next, before I get these questions in my comments, you may be thinking to yourself, oh my God, that QR code is really pixelated. Yes, you're right. But that's just the display the performance in InDesign, which is on medium right now. If you want to fix this, you're going to right click go to display performance and just go to high quality display right now. It's on typical. So high quality display and there you have it. It's fixed. Only do this if you really want to have a good idea of what it looks like when it's going to be printed. Other than that, I, it doesn't really matter if you leave it on typical, it's going to be less of a burden on your computer. It's going to take less juice. Um, keep in mind, these are temporary solutions. If you want insights and you have campaigns and stuff like that, I, I wouldn't necessarily go with this route. Uh, QR codes are very temporary. You have to use these sparsely and in situations where it's very, very like, okay, we don't have to reprint this design 300 times because the URL is changing or it's broken. So it's really that simple. I hope this was useful you can leave comments leave a like subscribe if you like any of this content i tend to post every couple of days these are basic one-on-one -on -one things that everybody can learn to do in these softwares and it's nice to know so yeah thanks for watching and i hope you have an amazing day